Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for uh, tuning into this episode. And this is not the game we're going to be playing. And forgive me if I sound a little far away. Uh, this is kind of a weird setup. This is currently what me and Corey have been doing so far. And uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is the Crash Bandicoot Inspire or Crash and Spyro Super Pack or something. Uh, but from the title of the video, I'm going to be playing. Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, because Crash Bandicoot is, um, cool, to put it lightly. Um, yeah, I've, uh, Crash Bandicoot was my very first video game I've ever played, well, the third game. Um, let me get positioned here. Uh, so on a mysterious space station that we're bringing high above the Earth, uh, Uka Uka says, Cortex. Well, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, you, you've heard me say some of it in uh, the Dankin Show if you watched the episode, which is not on this channel yet. It probably will be a little bit. Uh, I would say if you want to read all this, it'd probably be best to just, I don't know, like probably pause the video and look at what all it says and everything. I'll, uh, I'll leave it here so that you can pause it just in case. Uh, you know, sometime me and Corey probably need to add a little. Probably actually need to plan whenever we start doing these because, well, you know, we always come in sounding awkward coming in and coming in repeating things coming in. Uh, let's see. So I got in the mood to play this because uh, um, I recently watched the new Skylanders TV show. Um, yeah, I know, it's, it seems like a, a bad idea, but it's an, it's an okay show, so I'm starting a new game now, and I have reasons for doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, again, pause it if you want to read it. So, the, the new Skylanders TV show, uh, like I said, it's alright, let's get in the mic here, and, um... Crash Bandicoot appeared in a couple of episodes. Well, at the end of one episode, and he was basically one of the main focuses on the next episode after that. Um, and he talks with an Australian accent. Which makes sense that it's an Australian accent. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is, he talks. <laughs> um, so basically, moo ha 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 um, gee, that isn't from Crash 3 at all or anything. Well, I guess it's not, but I mean, you can tell the inspiration. Um, so, yeah, on here, Cortex Shrunk the Earth. In case you weren't reading the, the subtitles, he, uh, decided to, uh, shrink the Earth to the size of a, uh, like a grapefruit or something. Something like that. Um, so he, sa he says not even that little bandicoot can stop him. Well, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Um, oh, and do you get it? He shrunk it, and this is on a portable system, which is small. A ho, a ho, ho. I don't know. So, um, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. The uh, Skyland Skylanders thing. Um, so yeah, the show is actually okay. I have to say, it's it's all right. Um, nothing special, but it was definitely better than I expected. Because <laughs> I was expecting a, a bad show. Um, so the thing is, it, it's really awesome to see uh, Spyro. And, you know, for a couple episodes, Crash Bandicoot in a cartoon. It's just too bad of what it is. Alright, so, um, just starting up here. After that, uh, kind of long introduction. Well, I kind of made it long, but okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, just... You know, I, I really like the way this feels. Um... Because it actually feels like the original Crash Bandicoot games. 
just in just like okay there there were actually side scrolling moments on Crash Bandicoot. I mean you could still kind of move around in 3D like but um you know overall it was a it was like a 2.5D experience I, I guess you could say. Um there were not not like 100% of the game but like um you know it was like that. It was like uh there were mom there were 2D moments basically. 2D movement moments. Uh, so this this basically feels like uh, the like the 2D moments just exclusively the 2D moments and of course there's some uh, sort of 3D moments in this game too but um, you know overall it's 2D uh, you, you know uh, ho hopefully you know what I'm saying um, Let's see here. That's right, I don't have the double jump yet. That's a power up. Oh, spoiler! <laughs> um, let's see here. Just uh, getting some boxes here. I'm gonna be tempted to get all the boxes, but um, hopefully I won't like keep resetting it, so you all won't have to, you know. Um, you know, at this point, oh yeah, there we go. I was about to say that'd be a that'd be a dick move to just. <laughs> Um, have it to where it, you don't get it unless you like fall or something. Um, so there we go. But yeah, I, I probably won't try it for everything, especially because uh, there's some moments where you probably have to. Uh, let's see here. We'll just save it right here, I guess. So I won't have to erase all the other ones, which are probably all mine, just in different situations. Um, but yeah, for some reason, it's I struggle to find all the boxes. It's uh, I'm just gonna skip them. I was thinking of doing a like maybe like with these games. Like I'll see if Corey will be on board with it. Like so, at some point, maybe we'll come back to some of these games and try to 100% them. Uh, probably not all. Like, I don't know if... I, may, I might, but I don't know if I would ever want to try to go back to um, uh, Sonic Adventure DX and 100% it. Like, but by, by that I mean actually complete everything. Not just the main story, but like, uh, like absolutely everything. Unlock everything. I won't do that with all games because s some of them seem impossible. At least, you know, because of how hard it is. Um, I was also thinking of doing a, um, like, even if it's the same game, playing it with cheats. Um, like, doing a separate series, uh, like, maybe it, it could be with someone, with someone else, too, like, different people playing it. Like, at some point I want to play Gex, like, uh... If you don't know what it is, uh, look it up on the internet. Um, Gex, like, Gex 1, and Gex Enter the Gecko, Gex 3, Deep, Co Deep Cover Ge or Gecko, or something like that. Um, because those games, are, those games can actually be kind of tough uh, without cheats. So I was thinking of having a series where um, maybe we use, like, make it separate like at some point we'll play the game for real but like we'll also play with cheats if there are cheats for it and then just call it just I don't know have some kind of name for cheating this is just an idea right now I'm just saying it on here and I just got that one fruit backwards those wampa fruits whatever you want to say Mario I don't actually say Mario so. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, hopefully I'll remember this because I don't want to erase uh, 77%. Let's see here. Back to this kind of level. Um, this isn't really the greatest type of crash, but for at the time for a portable, for a portable crash game, it's pretty good. Um, it's like I said, it, it, it feels like the original Crash is, or it feels like the normal Crash gameplay, just uh, primarily in 2D. Let's see here. And they, I think they, I think they actually use some of the same sprites to uh, 
play these, or to make these, like some of the uh, sprites from uh, the original Crash games, or three or something, I can't remember exactly. Um, let's see, or the made the made them in sprite form, what, however you say it. Um, so I'd say at some point. Uh, I may play the, the the Spyro game that was on here, but I don't know, because those games are a little hard to play, because it's got that isometric view, um, and those almost never work, <laughs> at least not for me, oh my gosh, I'll have to, I want to get up there, that's great. I guess I can't. Wait. Wait. No, I can't. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, that's an example of what I mean. Like, you know what? Maybe... Let me check something real quick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, this might be... Uh, let's see here. Like, maybe I had to... That was good. That was real good. Maybe I had to, uh, jump on something. I guess we'll see. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, that was really good. But, oh yeah, okay, here we go, here we go, that's how you do it. Well, I lost a life, I had to sacrifice a life to get a life. You don't actually have to do that, but that was, uh, you know, that's what I did. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Allergy season. Let's see. So this is being recorded uh, November first. So um, just just thought I'd give that little random information there. Let's see. Okay. All right, there we go. Eventually, I was gonna get it. <laughs> hey, I got a Aki mask from a question mark box. You know, it, it would have been cool if uh, Aku Aku was in the sky. I know he was in the Sky Enders Imaginators. But it would have been cool to see him in uh, in uh, the show. Um, cool enough, anyway. Um, but it was like it was supposed to be like Crash was there because he was um, he was teleported there uh, by mistake. Something was going on. Uh, Cortex was about to do something and he got sucked into that world, into the Skylanders world, uh, by Activision and, <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. Sometimes you have to learn to laugh at your own jokes, even if they're not really funny. You have to, actually that sounds kind of sad, maybe I should change that. <laughs> You see what I mean. Um, let's see. <coughs> but it's but there's nothing really wrong with laughing at your own jokes. Just don't overdo it because you'll probably look like a douche. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Is there anything down here? Well, I better get a checkpoint first. <coughs> Let's see here. So yeah, in all these crash games, even if I know I can't get them all at once, um, you know, it's I always, I'm always dead. Yep, yep. I have to have a gym. I have to have the red gym. Uh. But anyway, the uh, Skylanders TV show. It, it's it's worth watching if you have Netflix. Now. I wouldn't get net if you don't have Netflix. I wouldn't bother getting it just to watch it, because um, I'm sure you can look up the clips and stuff on YouTube at some point. Um, but if you already have Netflix, you know it's it's worth a watch. Um, it's uh, it's interesting. So at some point we we are going to be playing like probably. It might be me and my brother. Uh, we might be playing uh, the original Crash Bandicoot and you know the original ones at some point. Uh, and of course, we'll 
one of us will be playing um, uh, 